Hello, everyone. Thanks for your coming. My name is Han Liu, a PhD student from Paris Lab at UCLA, advised by Professor Mashu Baoji. Today, I'm going to present one of my recent works related to combining computational simulations and machine learning to accelerate materials inverse design. And here, specifically, I'm going to present a de novo prediction of disordered mechanical metal materials by machine learning. The first question is, what is mechanical metal material? We usually use this term to highlight the materials exhibiting exceptional mechanical properties. One example is light yet stiff cellular materials. Depending on their structure, cellular materials can exhibit various density stiffness scaling laws. As illustrated in this figure, the Young's modulus decreases upon decreasing density and shows the power law dependence on its, on its uh, density, where the density stiffness scaling exponent n depends on the structural pattern. In practice, a small exponent structure such as octet truss it's promising to prepare light yet stiff materials. Up to date, most existing mechanical metal materials rely on crystalline structures. It has been revealed that upon axial loading of ordered metal materials, structures exhibiting bound stretching dominated response favor small exponent n while structures exhibiting bound bending dominated response result in larger exponent n. For ordered metal materials, the pattern of crystalline networks offers a primary degree of freedom to twin mechanical behaviors. In contrast to ordered metal materials, we extend the concept of metal materials to disordered structures. That is, instead of solely relying on crystalline patterns, we expect structural disorder could offer a potential additional degree of freedom to tune mechanical behaviors of metal materials. And we aim to discover new disordered mechanical metal materials with tailored uh, mechanical behaviors using machine learning. Rather than directly optimizing the structure of disordered metal materials, we use machine learning to optimize an, an underlying force field that indirectly governs structure. Here, I select a three-body force field where the two-body radial induction is fixed. I investigate the influence of three-body angular interactions on the structure and property of the disordered network. As a primary goal, I expect machine learning would predict an optimal force field that produces disordered metal structures exhibiting small density uh, stiffness scaling exponent n. These figures illustrate the force field I used. The left figure is the fixed two-body radial induction. The right two figures represent the tunable three-body angular inductions. Overall, the force field has three tunable angular parameters. That is, the preferred band angle theta naught the relative intensity lambda over A and the intensity parameter gamma. Given an underlying force field, I prepared a disorder structures using molecular dynamic simulations. That is, starting from a random initial structure, I conduct simulated alleling with the imposed force field and the MPT ensemble. The final structure is a disordered porous network governed by the force field. 
For each force field, I prepare a series of disorder structures at different packing densities and assess the density stiffness is scaling coefficient n for the force field. The Young's modulus of each configuration is computed by molecular dynamic simulations. And I fit all pairs of Young's modulus and density for the series of configurations to obtain the exponent n for the force field. Our goal is to use machine learning to find the force field with minimum exponent n. The machine learning method I used is an iterative active learning based on Gaussian process regression and Bayesian optimization. This figure shows an illustration of Gaussian process regression. The y-axis is exponent n, x-axis is a force field parameter theta naught. And for illustration purpose, the other force field parameters are fixed. By interpolating the known points, Gaussian process regression offers not only a prediction curve, but also its uncertainty. Then Bayesian optimization predicts the next, next position that is most promising to find the minimum exponent m. Since the global minimum is most likely to locate in the area either near current predicted minimum or locate in the area with high uncertainty. Bayesian optimization offers the best trade-off position that best balances the exploitation of current predicted minimum and the exploration of high uncertainty areas. We then calculate the exponent n at the best trade-off position and add this point to the known points. Using the updated known points, we update the Gaussian process regression and use Bayesian optimization to predict the next promising minimum position. This process will iterate until the best trade-off position converges to the true global minimum. Using this machine learning approach, I expect an optimal first field can be identified that exhibits minimum exponent n. We now look at the machine learning process to discover a disorder structure with minimum exponent n. During this search, several competitive first fields with minimum exponent n have been identified where the global minimum force field shows an exponent n equal to 1.09, approaching the theoretical minimum n of, the, of mechanical metamaterials, that is n equal to one. We now investigate the structural features shared by these small n structures identified by machine learning. Figure A and B provides, provide some examples of small n structures and large n structures, respectively. We find that random 3D polyhedron packing is more likely to yield small n structures than random 1D or 2D structure packing. Figure D and E shows the exponent n as a function of the tunable three-body force field parameters. We find that the regions exhibiting high exponent n are regions associated with strong three-body inductions, where the bound directionality is very high to prevent random 3D polyhedron packing. Instead, we find we find that Moderate bound directionality will contribute to the formation of small n structures. Finally, I investigate the mechanism that governs the exponent n in disordered matter materials. Upon exit loading, I find the minimum exponent network shows higher normal stress 
but lower shear stress per atom than disordered graphene network, which suggests disordered systems with more stretching dominated response favors small exponent n. It's like the case of ordered metamaterials. To summarize, we use machine learning to successfully predict an optimized light yet stiff disordered metastructure. The disordered network structure features a random 3D polyhedron packing and a moderate bound directionality. Finally, the small exponent n of the network arises from a predominant stretching dominated response. Thanks for your listening.